Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to part two of our five part mini series looking at and focusing on these cool new coins that have been sent to me and produced by the European Mint. We've already had a look at the Coleco Jack in part one. If you haven't checked that video out, there's a link down in the description below. Today we're going to be focusing on the Welsh Dragon. All of the links, by the way, to all of these products are down in the description box below. You can go over to the European Mint's website and check them out. And if you are interested, then you can purchase them. I'm not affiliated with this coin's success in any way. I don't get anything if you purchase them with that link. It's just there for you if you'd like to go and look at it. So, Welsh Dragon time. Let's crack it open and have a look. Well, first, let's talk again about capsules. I think it is really important to say this is a premium coin that comes supplied in a capsule. The capsule is good. I have talked at length about how things like the Royal Mint capsules are absolute garbage, but these capsules are good. They stay shut very well. They're pretty hard to open, but they've got this nice lip so that you can open them when you need to. I would not recommend holding these coins with bare hands like I'm going to be doing, but these are my coins that I've been sent and I'm going to keep them in my long-term kind of memory box. So, you know, I'm just going to hold them. I'm just going to enjoy them and showcase them here for what they are. Now, this is the Welsh Dragon, and I am a big fan of things with dragons on. I have been playing Dungeons and Dragons since I was about eight or nine years old, and I absolutely love this particular dragon. The Welsh Dragon is synonymous with, of course, the United Kingdom and Wales and the heraldry and pomp and pageantry around it and St. George and the dragon as well. You know, we are very much this nation where we have dragons as part of our history, even if they were mythical beasts. And this is a great rendition of the Welsh dragon. It's absolutely brilliant. It's the traditional kind of look of the Welsh dragon in its uh, sort of heraldic form, as opposed to more of its... Uh, I've seen sort of depictions of dragons which are very much more in that kind of fantasy world. But this is kind of how the dragon was looked and described throughout history, rather than this modern sort of Lord of the Rings look or Hollywood look of a dragon that we see now. And the Welsh dragon is sat with a great background that almost I could describe. Well, it basically is just the sort of close-up of the scales of some sleeping behemoth beast, maybe another dragon in the background. I think that is a great secondary touch, and it's really great. It's my favourite of the five of these coins that I've been sent from the European Mint. It really is very, very pretty indeed. So I want to have a quick zoom in here to really showcase the detail on this, because... The, the amount of sort of detail within this minting, I think, is great. You've got to just admire its production quality. I think it is the best one of the lot. I love the little touch of the European Mint logo there in the in just above the tail, the E and the M. That's very, very cool. But lots of very intricate detail all across the dragon with the wings, the scales, the legs, the claws, all set on that background. It does look great. It does look the job. It looks the part, and I think it's well done and well made. So there we have the Welsh dragon side. On the other side, we have the queen. So if we just have a quick zoom, oh, we're going to go zoom out now for that one. And we will see the queen in all of her glory. Again, this is my only criticism of these coin series is that the it does seem like the striking on the queen side is a little bit less and it's a bit lackluster compared with some of the uh, sort of portraits that I've seen from coins before. So that's something, there's a bit of feedback perhaps for the European Mint for future Project, projects, but otherwise I think that's a small detraction to take away from what is a great coin nevertheless. Uh, you've got the reeded edge here, so it's some of the particulars, we haven't gone through all the particulars yet. So, of course, 2022 silver coin, it's one ounce of four nines fine silver, denominated from Newey with two dollars, which we can see there. And it's 38 millimeters, four nines fine silver, BU uncirculated. So a job well done, I think. This is a very elegant looking one. And if you're a dragon fan, then it's definitely something to look to pick up to put into your collection. I do think it is very, very elegant and very well done. Sitting at 32 euros and 50 at the moment, it's at the sort of medium to high end for a premium coin. But with a mintage of 15,000, I think that's a pretty fair price for something like this. Uh, I do think it is very elegant, very pretty. So what I will do as well is, uh, like I did with Calico Jack, I just want to read out some of the uh, information that's on the European Mint's website about the Welsh Dragons as a bit of history, because that's one of the things I love about coins, we get to learn things. So the Welsh Dragon is a heraldic symbol that appears on the national flag of Wales. Historically, the dragon was often used to represent the Celts in battles against the invading Saxons and by Britons in battle against the Romans. Because of this, it's likely the Welsh originally chose the dragon as their emblem to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. The oldest recorded use of the dragon to symbolise Wales 
in the Historia Britonum, written around AD 829, but it is probably supposed to have been the battle standard of King Arthur and other Celtic leaders. Its association with these leaders, along with other evidence from archaeology, literature and documentary history, led many to suppose that it has evolved from an earlier Romano-British national symbol during the reigns of the Tudor monarchs, themselves originally of Welsh origin. And well, that's something I didn't know. You learn something new every day. The Red Dragon was used as a supporter in the English crown's coat of arms. The Red Dragon is often seen as symbolising all things Welsh and is used, as, uh, used by many public and private institutions. So there we go. You learn something new every day. The Tudors were Welsh. I did not know that, but I suppose it makes sense now with the Welsh dragon, the red dragon as well. So there we have the Welsh dragon from the European Mint. Very, very elegant coin. Very good. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this as well. So please feel free to comment down below if you've got one, if you're going to get one, if you like it, give it a score out of 10. In fact, I haven't given it a score out of 10 myself. So what, what shall we say? Should we give it... I think I'm going to give this one a 9. I gave the Coleco Jack an 8.5. I think it just is somewhat stopped from getting a nine and a half or a ten from the slight lack of detailing on the Queen's side. But beyond that, it is a great entry level premium coin and I think it is great. So if you're interested, links are down in the description below to the European Mint's website where you can find it and all of these other products. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, what you think about the coin and hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this video. A big thank you to you all for watching. We'll see you on the next one. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.